Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Well, it's Tuesday morning, 28th of May, 2024, 6, 11 a.m. and 59 degrees. Actually, the climate went up one degree in the last three minutes it took to walk from Bo's house to the levee here. It's gonna be a scorcher today. There's a good look at the uh, levee restoration project right here. It looks just about the same as like six days ago, last time we were up here. Kind of had higher hopes. Seriously, Bo? That's Bo there. And we're fixing to do a morning poop walk. Her being on that side of the snow fencing here should be pretty good to keep her safe from any other dog that may or may not be out here this morning. We're looking for a quick poop out of the dog here. Yeah, still no poop out of Bo here. Kind of reminds me of last Saturday when she skipped a whole day of defecation and I thought that, I thought the worst really. Could have had a blockage or appendicitis, but I think it was her estrus. But she really hasn't been pooping right out of the gate on any of these subsequent walks. Oops. This is normally about the time where you'd expect it. Oh, that's a sign of something. Seriously? Well, as you can see, here we are in the heart of Squirrel Alley. I wasn't figuring to 
do the whole squirrel alley walk this morning, but there's just so many squirrels out. And also, uh, I'd like to report, we have the poop in the bag just now. You can see Bo is not a hundred percent. Yeah, that's a second opportunity that was clearly missed. Uh, now she's looking at that gentleman. Holy cow, the, uh, the station-based athletic court has seen quite a bit of progress in the last week. That is gonna be extremely old-timey, yet practical. Uh, hard to figure out yeah fitness court holy cow boat that is progress I like to call Richland the city of planned progress I just come up with that Seriously, Bo? Got to get a little closer to her head. <clears throat> yeah, there's a ball that was thrown over the fence, not by me. One of my coworkers last week. I'm gonna go get it. See if I can get this dog to come with me. Yeah, the problem there is her mind wanders when she leaves the confines of the test site here. All right, Bo, come on, let's go find that ball, come on. <laughs> well, there's no ball. There's a ball my colleague, Steve, it turns out he had already gotten it last week when I was gone. Bo. Huh. Well, never regret a dog walk, even a dog walk where the dog wasn't even walking with me and it's gonna be very short anyways, but 
it's good to get her legs a little bit stretched out here. All right, we gotta get back to the grindstone now. It is uh, 3.08 p.m. and uh, 79 degrees, but we think we have a storm coming. So the climate should cool off for us here pretty soon, we hope. Well, the work day now is complete. I'm just swapping out my brand new military surplus Italian made Swiss Army combat boots that I need to wear in between now and uh, August 22nd. So that's a pretty good uh, first day of wearing them in, I guess. They were supposed to be used with no insoles, but they're, they're brand new which is gonna be a problem. Let's go find that dog. <laughs> well, it's almost six o'clock now, and uh, I went on Bo to eat her baby Binky, or at least enjoy a portion of it. Um, This is kind of what she did when she was a puppy. She didn't like peanut butter for her face. I can't imagine. Here we go. Okay. What the hell is that? Hold on, girl. I think we might have a moth in here. I don't know why. Oh, a lot of wool blankets, I guess. Good morning, Good morning. Well, it's Wednesday morning, 5.53 a.m., May 29th, 2024. 48 degrees this morning right now climate change is real uh, that there's Bo she and I are fixing to head down the river here on our morning poop walk this will give you a good look at the, uh, the progress of the uh, Levy Reconstruction Project. And Bo walking on it. I'm gonna get up on the grass for, out of respect for the construction workers here. dogs down there. Well, the poop's in the bag at a very convenient location. Right by the trash can there. Onward. She might be stalking the birds. Hey, no, Bo, 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 Bo. Bo, leave it. Shoot. Yeah, that was bad. We don't like going down there because uh, there's so much goose poop. The entire bank is brown and wet because of the goose poop. 
there's a dog right there. Uh, so now I got Bo on the, there's poop right there. Come on, Bo. Got Bo on the leash now for her own safety. Well, here we are in the heart of Squirrel Alley. What are you thinking, Bo? It's always hard to know. We try to read her as best we can, but that's one inscrutable dog. Okay, looking for a place to pee, it looked like. Not unexpected. That's the purpose of this walk, really. The world is a giant bathroom for Bo. It's the same squirrel from yesterday. And he's warning all his squirrel friends that Bo is on the prowl, I guess. Now, well, for whatever reason, oh, let's have another look at the sports court. Coming along quite nicely. That's the kind of fence they should have put up to ring the construction area on the levee. That snow fencing ain't cutting it with the townsfolk. Sometimes you gotta go chain link. That's my understanding. Uh, what I was saying before I interrupted myself was, um, oh, there's a Californian. Shoot, there's a squirrel. I was saying this place is devoid of squirrels, but there's one right there proving me wrong. moved off. <clears throat> That's a stick bow. Okay, leave that duck alone. Come on. This is a new honking toy from Spokane. Northwest Feed and Pet. Oops. Go on. Go on, fetch it up. Go on now. Come on. I'll check back in later. Whoa. Seriously.
Bo, come on. Non-retrieving, non-swimming, golden retriever. It's very odd. Typical Bo, sometimes. Bo, you're embarrassing me. Bo, come on, come on. Come on, Bo. Go, go, Bo, go. Go on, fetch it up. This is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Bo, go, please. Fetch that damn thing up. Come on. Nice job, Bo. A lot of pride. Had to resort to throwing his shoe. <laughs> ah. Sorry, uneven terrain there. Well, it's 6.35 a.m. now. This is the time to be out here, really. All the squirrels are woke up. You can hear them. We gotta go, Bo, come on. Well, the fun portion of the walk just ended. Now, as a time-saving device, I hauled the dog back home on a leash here on George Washington Way. There's an interesting pub in the park right here. It's a dog-friendly outdoor pub area. Never been because of both behavioral issues mainly and we don't really like microbrews. My little bro does though. Maybe uh, we should come down here with Murphy someday. Hey, you can see this portion of the walk is much worse. Well, it's almost, oh, <laughs> it's almost quitting time, and I was going to go check on Bo, but there she is. Um, hey, Bo, let me uh, change that of my um, Swiss-Italian military boots. Stand by. 
Oh, we're all locked down out here. Where's the dog? It's Tuesday afternoon. Sorry, Wednesday afternoon, a little bit after 4 p.m. And I've lost the dog. How did she get in there? She snuck in somewhere. Bo, you're locked in. Go on now, load up. Come on. Gotta hold the door for her because of the wind. Come on, let's go. Your door's gonna hit you in the butt, Bo. Come on. Load up. Load. Good job, Bo. Well, we're both fed and my work here is done for now. Got the next dog video rendering there on the computer. And uh, speaking of dogs, it is 5.51 p.m. and I think I'm gonna take the dog around the block for a quick uh, pre-couch walk. Nice stretch, Bo, come on, shake it off. Well, now we're here in Jefferson Park. You can see the uh, tree removal project is proceeding quite nicely. That was Bo's bladder right there. The city elders tore down all these trees because of the climate and they were planting all these new ones. So that's interesting. I'm not going to be, whoops. That was close. Okay. Well, we're going to allow this because it's been a while since Bo's been able to chew up some of the municipal grass here, I guess. A lot of times what we do is we uh, default to Bo's wishes, her inner demons. And that's what you're seeing here, little devil dog. Bring it, Bo. Bring it. Here. <laughs> Seriously? Well, now it's 6.25 p.m. and it's time for Bo's baby binky. There you go, Bo. Come up. Come on. Up here. Okay. <laughs> so got the monkey. Didn't even need the monkey. Nice job, though. Well, we're about 15 minutes behind schedule here because I just talked to my mom who called at 8.30 p.m., which is a little late for me and Bo on a work night. But I got to get her up here and up the block real quick. And then we're going to... Sorry, Bo. And then we're going to hit the big sleep. Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Well, it's Thursday morning, the 30th of May, 2024. It's 5.58 a.m. and a relatively cool 
uh, 47 degrees Fahrenheit climate. We're out here with Bo this morning inspecting the snow fence. Okay, that failed in its duty. I don't like Bo walking there in the construction zone, but the Golden Retriever is an untrainable breed. I've learned that through five years of experience with her and uh, nothing can be done, behaviorally speaking. I think Bo there is setting up for her first morning poop. Well, I've managed to walk this whole way outside of the construction area successfully and it led me to wonder why the city elders didn't put the fence four feet to the left of me right here and maintain a, a walking path um, for the townsfolk. I think it's probably because the townsfolk can work things out for themselves and establish their own path, but it's uncomfortable walking here in the zone. I don't like it. Too slow, Bo. Yeah, you can see Bo's not really at the top of her game today with the squirrels for whatever reason. Could be that I got her out of bed too early. Could be post estrus slows, if that's even a thing. Could be there's too many squirrels choose from.
That's a plump one, Bo. Come on. That's pretty good. End of the line, Bo. Okay, we're sneaking back to that one grove of squirrels that were doing all the chattering. It's eerily quiet now. <laughs> yeah, pretty eerie, huh, Bo? Where do y'all go? They're behind it. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Wait, which way are we gonna go? You want to get that one, Bo? Yeah.
Well, there ain't none on the ground here. Ah, where is everybody today? Well, fun time's over now. There's another dog right after I said that that was walking kind of parallel to us. So time to haul Bo back on the, the asphalt jungle. Well, back at the coal face here with Bo. Running an experiment there in the shop with cadmium, which is a toxic metal. So that's ventilation. It'll vent right into Bo's breathing space. Not really a whole lot of cadmium in that, truth be told. And the dry air concentration is probably within Bo's limits, I would think. Get your stick. Get it. Don't beat me up with it. Ah, it's Simba. Don't beat me up with that. Okay. Come on. No, 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 no. I don't want that. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want that stick. Stinker. Well, it's Friday morning, the 31st of May, 2024. <laughs> We're out here with Bo this morning at 5.55 a.m. and 48 degrees Fahrenheit. The snow fence this morning is an impenetrable barrier to Bo.
but I was able to find a place of egress over the fencing onto the construction zone here. Um, I guess I need to report now. It's a good time as any. I found the 12th tick of the season on Bo yesterday while I was talking to my moms on the phone. It was very small with a lot of legs. And we must have picked it up down here somewhere, even though we have not been walking in any known tick zones. Today, we're gonna do a mostly urban walk, try to keep Bo off the river, and then try to get into the office early so we can leave early. But the first order of business is getting a poop out of this dog here. And she selected a pretty good spot there if that's where she indeed goes because that's by the only municipal trash can in the area now. So we'll keep an eye on that. She's moving off slow. Might be setting herself up here for her, her bathroom break. riveting content right now but the best way to set yourself up for a successful day is to poop in the morning and I like to set Bo up for that kind of success Now we're approaching the backyard of the Zimbabwean Ridgeback dogs. You can see Bo's considering going under the fence again. Move it. Move it, come on. Come on, move it. Well, not a whole lot of pooping yet on this walk. All right, we've cleared the construction zone. We're gonna stay on the levee here. Hey, Bo, we're going to stay on the levee here. Come on. This could be it right here. Nothing. Better get that bow. Go on. Yeah, we're in danger of losing this ball to the crick if it doesn't hit that. Oh no. Bo, get it. an eye on it. Go on, Bo. Help me out here. Nice. Nice job, Bo. Bring it. All right, looking at a skunk or a porcupine or something. Bo, come on. Bring it. Come on. This dog has lost all of her golden retriever skills, except for Pooping and, and lounging. Oh no. Don't drop it there, Bo. Nice job. Keep it. 
Nice job, Bo. Now what the hell are you doing, Bo? Seriously. Well, kind of experiencing a mixed emotions on that last clip. A little bit of pride, relief but also a little bit of embarrassment. The typical five-year-old golden retriever would go ahead and have retrieved that. Anyways, uh, this is the uh, light industrial urban section of the walk. Someday this building here, California developer, is gonna uh, turn them into California condos with probably mixed commercial on the first floor. So you're talking uh, Chipotle's, you're talking maybe a Panda Express outlet and two or three or four or five uh, coffee shops. And then if our city uh, elders allow it, maybe even someday a, a dispensary. Because it's my experience that a Californian can't live without a dispensary being within a block of their condo. Oh, and uh, charging stations galore. I would guess. My mother, who loves Italian food almost more than her second son, probably would like this place. So I'm thinking about when she visits me in October for her birth month, taking her there. Gotta bring her back here before we cross the street. Grizzly bar. She moved. <laughs> nope, she's on she's in the pit. Oh you're right. Six minutes to one PM, still Friday. I'm looking for the dog. I gotta run a quick work-related errand. And I'm running out of time. Bo! Oh. There she is. Every day, even when we leave early, she takes her damn time. What the? Place your money. This is place your money. Come on, Bo, come on now. <laughs> Load up. <laughs> Seriously. Uh. Nice job, Bo. All right. Well, we only got three minutes to make this appointment. Luckily, I'm wearing my uh, Swiss Italian military combat boots. And so I have a pretty lead foot. Am I boring you, Bo? Seriously? Ah, uh, red light. We're so close. It's okay to be a few minutes late sometimes, Bo. Just like to keep things professional. We're headed into PNNL, Pacific Northwest National Lab. 
drop off some glass specimens. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the road here is barricaded because it's uh, they're having an inclusivity week here at the lab. And so we turn here. Yeah. This being a federal laboratory. Um, let's see here. Looking for my contact. Do not see the gentleman. Uh, they like to celebrate all manner of uh, inclusivities and, and such. We try to at our workplace also, but we just don't have that many people. We're inclusive to dogs, I guess. There he is. Well, now it's 4 o'clock p.m., still Friday. Uh, Bo thinks it's power nap time, and normally it would be a good power nap time, but we got to get to bed early today, so we can't risk it. Got a couple house guests coming over tomorrow, and pull this off. I'm gonna wake up at 4.30 again tomorrow morning. Well, the least I can do is turn on the portable AC unit. Yeah, the, the problem is the climate is 78 degrees outside right now, so we have to suspend all outdoor activities. There's Tom there at the, I think he's wearing Mickey Mouse ears. He's on the far right of that screen there. Right there, that's Tom. That's not Tom, that's Tom there. I'm backing up uh, some old concert footage <sighs> on this old computer. That's Chase, baby Chase, and baby Bo right there. Actually, there's Bo right there, big Bo. Can't go outside, Bo. Well, we hit some technological roadblocks. I'm still working on the second of Tom's discs. I had to go down the basement and look for some old timey software, which I did not have. So, um, we're basically backing up his disc now, but I can't burn any backups for him. It'll be on my hard drive. That's a fly my, you know what, Bo? It's 5.32 p.m. Let's get your baby dinky. Where do you want it today? You want it right here? Yeah. Well, go on. <laughs> well, she always waits till I get on the couch before she starts her binky. She's a creature of habit. <laughs> kind of an inside joke because we're on the couch every night. Anyways. Come on. <laughs> 